Welcome to Hannah Edge EC Meter Tutorial. I am Dr. Vera Velasco and I am the Senior Research Associate for Growth Facilities Operations at University of Toronto in Mississauga. EC Meter or Electrical Conductivity Meter measures the total soluble and dissolved salts present in the solution. We use it to monitor the amount of nutrient salts and non-essential ions such as sodium and chloride in your solution. It cannot tell us the specific concentrations of each nutrient. Here are the materials that you will need to measure the EC of your solution. We need the HANA edge connected with EC electrode, Then take the EC electrode and carefully remove the rubber ring that you can find at the tip of the electrode. Now rinse the bottom half of the EC electrode using distilled water. Use a beaker to collect dirty water. Dry electrode using Kim wipes. If necessary, carefully flick water off your EC electrode. Now that we have a clean electrode, we can start calibration using one of our six standards. We have aliquots of 84 to 111,800 microsiemens per centimeters that we can use. Choose a calibration standard with concentration higher than your test solution. With electrode in air, press cal on the tablet. Wait until the display shows STD. Now, dip the EC electrode in our calibration standard. Today, I am using 84 microsiemens per centimeter. Ensure that the electrode is submerged until the black line mark. Also, make sure that the electrode is centered horizontally in the flask and not touching the bottom of your flask. For best practices, use a plastic flask. Once you see SOL STD on display, press CFM to save. Then quickly rinse and dry your electrode. Now we are ready to measure the EC of your homogeneous solution. To do this, make sure to use a clean EC electrode, then submerge the bottom half of the electrode into the solution. Like in calibration solution, make sure that the electrode is not touching the bottom of your flask. Then wait for the weight on display to disappear. This table EC value on screen is your EC reading. Now that you're done with measuring the EC of your solutions, remember to clean after yourself. Only store clean electrodes with rubber cap on. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to any of the UTM Research Greenhouse staff.